Hey, what's up with y'all? It's just truly Mr. PSA, that's public Sony's announcements on Instagram, aka Sony reviewed it on YouTube. Today, we're gonna try out popsicles. These popsicles, actually called popsicles, are popsicles good for you? Are they healthy for you? When should you eat them? When should you not eat them? Yes, I'm sitting in my office again, aka the bathrooms. We're gonna try this out. I'll let you guys know what's the best flavor. All right guys, here we go. When you get the popsicle out, you have to kind of grab it from the bottom and feel where the wood stick is. The reason why I'm there is because if you open it from this end, the popsicle will fire. Let me show you guys what I mean. So I just opened it. As you can tell right there, there is a stick right there. So we're gonna open it. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what flavor it is. So look how it's shaped. It's got the red, blue, and white right there. So it's kind of like the American flag. So. First things first, I like the flavor. It's very, very sweet. It's got a lot of sugar to it. I can definitely tell. It's very sensible to the teeth. If you can't bite well, you just keep chewing. Overall, it's pretty good. Um, it is pretty hot outside here, so already it started melting in the bag. So I would say when you have something like this, if it's about 80 to 90 degrees like this right now, I would strongly recommend eat it very, very fast. Because even look right now, it's starting something to melt on my hands, so you really can't stop. But overall, it's very, very sweet. It tastes good. I've had it in my mouth about five to six seconds, and it's melting very, very fast. Um, there is a small message on the popsicle stick you can tell right there. So once I finish it, I'll be able to let you guys know what the popsicle said. Overall, I like it. Once again, I spent a box of this, you can get it at Target. There's 18 popsicles for exactly $6.79. And I just finished my popsicle. I did tell you guys what we would say. So there's currently a small little joke on there. So each of these popsicles currently has a little joke on there. So it's kind of like their way to grab your attention. Kids can take them. Just a nice little joke. So it tells you the joke um, right then and then, and then it gives the answer, which is kind of cool. It's just a way to attract the customers. Now, when you're eating this outside, like I was telling you, it is extremely warm out here. Right now, my hands are actually very, very sticky. So I would recommend if you're eating this popsicle, maybe have like a dry rag so you can wipe your hands. Now that we are done taste testing the popsicle, I really, really liked it. Let's get in more in depth and let me just find, tell you guys why I appreciate marketing and color and everything. If you look at the box right there, guys, it literally tells you firecracker, the name of it. It's got cherry, watermelon, and blue raspberry so if you look at it that's cherry right there watermelon and blue raspberry so all the popsicles are basically the same flavor if you look right there it tells you calories salt uh, sodium and added sugar so basically if a lot of you guys have diabetes you want to measure your sugars you want to find out what's in the box as far as sugars calories salt sodium diabetes is right there so colors from natural sources so it gives you all the information that you're basically looking for in here 18 popsicles come in this bag like I did say earlier you can get it from Target Amazon Walmart any convenience stores for the price of $6.95 now mind you every store might be a little bit different from there another thing is everything you need to know so uh, nutrition nutrition facts right there, total fat, sodium, like I said earlier. It also even tells you like right there as far as ingredients. If you're curious what are popsicle made of, basically flavored water. It's basically flavored water with a little stick and they freeze them and put it in plastic and that's basically what makes popsicles. That's not the full how it is, but that's just the gist of it. So you have that there. Also, it tells you any questions or comments. If you're very irritated with the company, you don't like how the popsicles taste, literally like look right there, questions, comments, you can basically send those to them. I'm sure they'll get back to you. It also tells you the websites where it was made. Something that I forgot to touch on is right there. Right there is basically the QR code. Now you're probably thinking, what does the QR code do? The QR code basically, if you wanna find out any information about the popsicle, where it was made, who made it, 
how much sugar is in there, if you want to contact the company, everything you need to know about the popsicle, just literally take your phone and go to the camera option and scan that QR code and it will take you exactly to the website. So that's that for you. Even on the back of it, like I told you guys earlier, once you're done eating a popsicle, these little sticks is what you'll see. So they, are, they have little jokes on them. I think it's basically a way to just get kids attention if you're in school. I know a lot of kids you tend to use these little popsicle sticks to do a science project. You can actually use those to like start growing tomatoes. But overall, I do like what the box does. It's very informative. There's nothing you cannot find out about the popsicle. All the information is literally on the back there. The colors are bright, red, cherry, watermelon. So everything is right there. So honestly, they even have right there like their social media handles. I know a lot of you guys might want to go follow them right there. So that's all their social media handles. So everything you need to know about the product is all right here. So this is the box. It shows you other flavors that they come in. So you looked right there, there's one, two, and three. They come in multiple flavors. So this is the front. It's got everything you need to know. QR code, you can scan it. As far as calories, sodiums, it's all right there. You can contact them right there. Yeah. As far as for any parents, if you're gonna give your kids these popsicles, I would recommend maybe give them to them towards like the afternoon time. Why I'm recommending the afternoon? Because these things have a lot of sugar. And what does sugar do? If you give these popsicles to an eight to a 10 year old, they're gonna be bouncing up and down the wall. So just remember as a parent, when is a good time to give your kids a popsicle? I'm gonna recommend you know, one o'clock, two o'clock, but if it's nine o'clock, I would not give it to the kids because once you give it to the kid at nine o'clock, he's gonna have a lot of high energy. Effects for giving a kid the popsicles, like I said, is bouncing up and down the walls, not going to bed, because a lot of kids cannot handle the amount of sugar. In the end, one thing I don't like about the popsicles is it's got a lot of sugar in it, like a lots and lots of sugar. And if you have lots of sugars, it can harm your teeth, it can damage your teeth. It can have you go into the dentist every year. You don't want to damage your teeth. You don't want to give kids these things every, every day because then they get kind of hooked on them. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And remember, if you're eating something sweet, be sure to brush your teeth in the morning, lunchtime, and dinner, and also floss them because sometimes things that cut in your teeth. If sugar, after you have a popsicle, you let it sit in your teeth, it can actually rot. Like, comment, subscribe. Sony reviewed it on YouTube. Public, Sony's announcements on Instagram. Until next time, world.